Welcome to Augmented Reality with ArchiCAD. Today I'll be discussing a workflow that will take your model from ArchiCAD to SketchUp to our SiteSpace 3D mobile viewer that works on iPads and iPhones. It has augmented reality and that overlays your model onto the real world. It's a pretty cool feature. Let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm showing you my model. This is of a ranger station. I'm just showing you a couple different features of the model right now, some of the transparencies, and this is in ARCHICAD. What we're going to do next is we're going to export this model to an SKP file. That is the SketchUp format. In order to do this, you're going to need to download the Google Earth connection package from the Graphisoft website. This is a free plugin. Next, I'm going to export my ARCHICAD file to SKP. This conversion can take a little while, so don't worry about that. From there, we're going to go ahead and go into SketchUp. This is SketchUp here, also a free download from Google. One of the most important things you'll notice is that right here, I am on the ARCHICAD layer in SketchUp, so it did import correctly. For AR to work automatically, your file needs to be geolocated, which is really easy to do in SketchUp. You need to go to File, Geolocation, Add Location, and type in where you're at. So right now I'm in Boulder, Colorado. From there, you'll go ahead and you'll select the region, which I'm doing right now. You can adjust these blue pins. Then you can go ahead and grab the section that you're in. From there, you have to actually move your model and position it on top of the actual graphic. This is quite easy to do with the move tool. Then the different axes will light up to show you which axis you're, that you're on because we're in a three-dimensional environment. After you get your model correctly positioned, then we will actually have to export our file, our SketchUp file, to KMZ. That is the format that SiteSpace 3D reads. That's pretty easy to do. You just go to File, Export 3D Model, and save your file name. What I want to do next is I actually want to show you how our model will look on the iPad itself. I'm going to be using an iPad 2, and you can place it on there a lot of different ways. I'm going to go ahead and use Dropbox and all you do is you put it onto Dropbox and then you hit the action button and it'll open it automatically in SiteSpace. You can use a couple different methods. You could use email or you could also use iTunes. The file will open. It's really best to close all of the running apps on your iPad or your iPhone because augmented reality is pretty intensive on the RAM on your device. A couple other things that SiteSpace can do is it can annotate it can take an email photos, it can bookmark views for easy retrieval. So here's our model. You can control it by orbit, panning, and zooming with different gestures, single fingers, double fingers, pinch zooming. And it came in perfectly. It preserved the transparencies, which are very important. What we're going to do is we're going to go into augmented reality and overlay our ranger station onto the real world out here in Boulder, Colorado. Some other things that you can do is you can actually go inside the building and notice that you can look through the transparent windows. You can also manually manipulate the model on the screen if you so choose. You can pinch zoom, you can move it all around. The model will be preserved to scale because your device is geolocated and your model has also been geolocated. So that's just a short introduction to ARCHICAD Augmented Reality with SiteSpace. If you have any questions, check out our website or feel free to give us a call. Thank you for joining me today.